What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zero Excuses podcast. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Kenny Zitska. Got another great episode uh, queued up for you today. What I wanted to talk with you guys about are my three simple rules to living a good life. You know, all this debate that we've been seeing with the Gillette ad, the wall, the government shutdown, and everyone getting into a heated debate losing respect for one another, not respecting each other's opinions. You know, we can, we all can disagree. We can, we can have our differences, but at the end of the day, I think if we can keep these three simple rules that, that I follow, we can gain back at least a little bit of that respect, a little bit of that, uh, that appreciation for our differences, that appreciation that, uh, that we can get from understanding another person's perspectives and maybe we can uh, modify our own opinions and learn something new from each other but let's hop right into it and my number one rule is don't be a dick and I can't believe this this actually needs to be explained but I'm going to anyways just uh, just I guess cover my ass for lack of a better way to put it but uh, you know don't be a dick respect one another listen before you form an opinion or voice your displeasure for whatever someone else has to say. Take a step back, take a strategic pause and digest what they said. Find just a little something that you can latch onto that you liked about what they said or something good that they said and acknowledge that first before you say you start disagreeing with them. You know, the first step in being understood is to understand. So if you can show that you are understanding the other person that you are interacting with, that will build that respect. That'll tear down that wall. That'll make the other person want to listen to what you have to say. And you can have a civil discussion. So that's that's really, to me, what Don't Be a Dick is about. It's listening. It's opening up your mind to uh, what others have to say, what other perspectives uh, they have to offer. You know, I've, I'm getting ready to retire after 22 years in the Navy, and this is, you know, Spending time in the Navy really opened up my eyes to see what other perspectives there are, what other cultures and ways of living uh, there are. And, you know, there's, there's many different ways you can, uh, you can skin a cat. And pretty much we all have one thing in common, that's to live a happy, productive life. And, you know, the more ways that you can uh, see how people do that, the more you can open up your your mind to other possibilities. So I'm getting a little bit off the rails on this one here, so let's rein it back in. So that's all I have to say about don't be a dick. So number two is to fulfill your own potential. You know, there's there's so many people out there that uh, that that aren't fulfilling their potential or are stuck in a certain place where things might be going good they might be going well but they are not necessarily living the lives that they are meant to live and they want to live there's something more out there and I think it's a shame that so many people kind of stay stuck in the same place for such a such a long time and I think we all have a duty to become the most successful people we possibly can and you know if you are providing tremendous amounts of value to people if you are living up to your potential everything else will fall into place for you if you're giving your best efforts if you're learning from your mistakes if you are unafraid to fail if you do all those things you are going to succeed and you're going to fulfill your potential so like you know this is a very simple rule but you know there's a lot of people out there that are just coasting that are just happy with the status quo that are staying safe in their comfort zones and I implore you to step outside of that because that's where your success is going to lie outside your comfort zone I know that's cliche to say and you know I'm even getting sick of hearing it but I gotta say it get outside your comfort zone to find success because if you are looking to avoid failing in a big way you're also going to avoid succeeding in a big way so that's all I have to say about that rule. And my third and final rule is to leave every person, place, thing, animal, etc. better than you found it. And every, we interact with each other every single day. We have so many opportunities to make even just the smallest impacts on someone, to brighten someone's day, to say thank you, holding the door open for someone, 
doesn't matter if it's man or man, woman or child, just be a decent human being. If you're doing rule one and two, you're going to, you can't avoid doing rule number three. It's just going to happen for you. And, you know, we all can do a little better with how we treat each other as well. You know, even if we just take that small step, if, if we all take that small step forward, imagine the impact that we can make on one another. Imagine how hap- how much happier, how much more pleasant our days are going to be if we could just respect each other a little bit more, if we can help each other reach across the aisle, give a helping hand to someone in some way, shape, or form. I challenge you to just make that a daily practice. Impact one person in one small way. It will will start filling your tank so you have even more to give to other people down the road so that's it for my simple rule my three simple rules for living a good life that number one don't be a dick number two fulfill your potential and number three leave every person place thing and animal better than you found it all right guys well thanks again for tuning in you know if you need some help some guidance some accountability with implementing maybe some of these rules or coming up with your own your own uh, rules just because i use these rules doesn't mean that uh, you can't come up with your own if you need some help and guidance uh, with that and many of the other things that we talk about here on this show such as building discipline eliminating excuses i encourage you to number one join our free facebook group over at kenyanzitska.com slash group uh, we've got close to 500 members in the in the community there that are talking about uh, these very to- very topics that we talk about here on the podcast. And the second resource that I want to mention about this is to consider booking a 30-minute free strategy session with me. You know, I'm really going to start making it easier for you guys to interact with me here in 2019, and that's one of the ways that I want to do it. No obligation, nothing, no you know, I just enjoy helping people. Like I said, I'm getting ready to retire from the military, and that is one of the big things that I miss. About, I am going to miss about the military is helping people succeed, helping mentor people, and I want to do that as mu- as much as possible here in 2019. If that's piquing your interest, you can go to kenyanzitska.com slash call, and you could schedule a 30-minute uh, call with me. We can uh, – Go over some, uh, you know, see where you're at in your life and see where you can start to make these very various improvements in your life and install some of these systems, habits, routines, like I said. And, you know, we'll see, we'll see where the conversation goes. Oh, and one last thing, if you haven't already done so, head over to iTunes and leave us a rating, review, subscribe, and share this with a friend or family member who might get benefit from these very the very topics that we talk about here. Thanks again, guys. Have an awesome weekend. Talk with you soon.